Wow. Are you clapping? Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. You're looking amazing. I give God the glory for the life of everybody that is in this place. Glory to the name of Christ. Say amen. All right. You should um, go help the technical people for me. I am. I am so excited. That was a lovely ministration. I would love us to sing the same song as we start our service this morning. The two hands up in there. Close your one. To me, wo Yami to me, wo wo Na wo ya to me, wa. To me, wo wo mo. To me, wo wo mo. Ah, to me, wo wo mo. Oh, hear it. Wo ya to me, wa. To me, wo wo mo. Besinyansa wo wo mo. Nyansa wo wo. Wo ya nyansa. Nyansa wo wo mo. Nyansa wo wo mo. Nyansa wo. Wo ya nyansa. I want it all more. I want it all more. I want it all. Ah, do ya want it more? I want it all more. I want it all more. I want it all. Power in the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. Ah! Let me hear you sing. Power in the name. To me, to me. Sing it for the last time. This power. This power in the name. This power. Oh, this power in the name. This power. Yeah, to me. Speak in it, mother tongue of yours. Lift that voice in that language. Let me hear you. Honor the name of Christ. Come on in the name of Jesus. As Tia to Paria Ado. Da 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 da, Maria asking, Ria no madada kuta, Kadia susu. Hey, the glory belongs to Christ. As Kia tere tola mana dunia, Sia.
This morning we stand here to honor your glorious name. Thank you that we are alive, well and blessed. Thank you, Father. We are grateful for the air we breathe, for your provision, for the health. Thank you. Somebody is in the ICU right now. God will give you glory. Thank you. Glory, 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 glory. We ask you in the name of Jesus to touch your people from the crown of our hearts to the soles of our feet and reveal the Christ to us. Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, I bring the nation before you. I stand in a garb just like Daniel, Jeremiah, or John the Baptist. And I make intercession for our country that Ghana will be saved. That we will come to the saving knowledge of Christ. That Ghana will repent from dead works, wicked imaginations, and surrender to the Lordship of Christ. For you are not interested in the death of a sinner. My God, I give you thanks. In this short moment that your word will come in power. Dunamis, dunamis and exusia. Have your way. Breathe on us. You are, you are Ruach Elohim. You are Elohim Parakletos. Have your way. In Jesus' precious name. Somebody shout amen. Are you clapping? Are you clapping? Are you clapping? Are you clapping? Go ahead. Man, you're looking amazing. Hallelujah. Good morning to all of you. I welcome all of you into God's presence. This is the W3 service. W3 means word, worship, and wonders. We are live on sweet melodies, sweet harmonies, sweet memories, sweet flow, sweet reflections. We are live on Vision One. We are live on Obatampa, Onia Television, Amansan Television, on Facebook Live, on YouTube, on podcast. And we are live here in person. I welcome everybody to church in Jesus' precious name. We're going to be with you from now until we bring the curtain down on this particular service. 
I would love you to relax, enjoy the service, and allow the Holy Spirit to bring you a fresh revelation of God's word and grace. In Jesus' precious name, can I hear your amen? You're looking amazing and I thank God. Let me remind our listeners and our viewers that this is Alabasta International Ministry. Comfort and, uh, Comfort and Isaac and Ponsa Memorial Temple Tesano bringing you live, this live broadcast service. We're going to be with you from now until the service comes to a close. So stick with me. Our foundation scripture is John chapter 12 verses 20 and 21. It's our foundation for life. John the 12, the 12th chapter, the 20th and 21st verses. The Bible said there were certain Greeks among them. There were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same therefore came to Philip, which was of Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we want to see Jesus. The same therefore came to Philip, which was of Bethsaida of Galilee. They desired, requested, demanded, de, de, demanded, and placed. A submission that they wanted to see Christ. Allow me to read from verse number 19. It's been a while I did that. The first he said among themselves, perceive ye not that you prevail nothing against the Christ. Behold, the world is gone after him. It's so profound, this particular verse of scripture. Any, anybody that is seeking the Christ. It is synonymous to Synonymous to Philippians chapter 3 and verse number 10 where the Bible says that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto the death of Christ. Now when we come to the resurrection, when we come to the resurrection, after the resurrection, what next? What next after the resurrection? Last Sunday was Resurrection Sunday. We had a lovely time. We were on in white upper. We celebrate God's goodness and God's grace and all that. So after the resurrection, what next? What is the next move after resurrection? What does the resurrection really simply, um, significantly, relevantly mean to the believer? Jesus died for you. Yes. Everybody knows that. But how do you process that in your everyday life? And I have just quoted um, Philippians chapter 3 and verse number 10. I will stick into that verse just a little while. But before I do that, allow me to read Luke chapter 21 verses number 34 through to 36. Luke the 21st chapter, the 34th, 35th and 36th verses. The Bible said, take it to yourselves. Lease at any time your hearts be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and the curse of this life and soul that they come upon you on our words. For as a snare shall come upon all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always. And you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. And to stand before the Son of Man. Watch ye therefore. In other words, be alert. Be vigilant. Don't play too much. Don't lose consciousness of yourself. Do not forget the time in which you are living. Don't miss that. Don't miss that. Be, be careful. Watch. Be on alert. Be on your guard. Don't sleep. Be, be on the watch. Watch ye therefore and pray always. Watch. This is not the time for so many things including having fun. Watch. Be Devil, your adversary is walking and roaring like a lion and he's seeking to devour. Watch! Be on the alert. You are like a passenger in a plane where there are so many snakes on board. Watch! You better watch. Focus. Watch. Set your priorities right. You know, this was the, the theme and the, the focus, the drive when he was speaking in Ephesians chapter 5 and verse number 15. He, he was drawing our attention that we, we walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the times for the days in which we live our evil days. Don't, don't, sweetie, never think we are in normal days. These days are not normal. Watch, 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 watch. And so he said in verse number 17, I love that particular verse. He said, Wherefore, be not unwise, but understanding 
what the will of God is. You know, understand it, that that is a predominant revelation. Many people who seek that, you know, we call you before you come to church. We, you know, check up on you. We beckon on you. It is a level. It's okay, but the people who have understanding don't need that. If somebody has and they don't need that. With a, listen to me. With a strong understanding, I do not need to live in the level of pettiness. I had an accident. They didn't visit me. It's a level. But that's what we call the me level. Me. Me, myself, and I. Self. Self-centeredness. Selfishness. Self-aggrandizement. The moment somebody comes to the place of understanding, they do not seek too many things. Hmm. They did not seek too many things. Jesus didn't have money on him at the time they were asking the temple tax, but he was not worried. Most of us don't have money in our pockets, but there is nothing to buy. We are more worried more than the president of Ghana. Understanding! And it was the same revelation when he was talking about in Matthew chapter 13 when he began to explain the parable of the sower when he went in verse number in verse number 19 when he started talking about the meaning of the parable he said when anybody hears the word of the kingdom the integrity of god's word and only i and i pay that's that's what we're dealing with yeah we we're talking about something being planted in your heart anything that is planted grows as long as there is health in that particular environment. And so watch when the soil is active. He, he goes on there. He said, this is he that received the seed by the wayside. And then when he went further, he said, but he that received the seed, seed or the word into the stony places, the same as he that hears the word of God and at noon receives it with joy. And then has no, but has no root yet, has no root in himself but endure it for a while when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word that person becomes offended so you are now seeing the source or the faribine of all the offenses in church in the world in the workplace and places like that it is because it will be near here they get easily offended in linguistics I can say Mempesa Ubu Befu. I can say Wetjimi Ubu Mfu, depending on the tone and presentation. But here he is saying, and uh, when tribulation, persecution arises because of the word, that means that the, as someone what here, you know, the word is going to provoke tribulation persecution is going to arise by the word, by the premise of the word. They are offended. But Jesus have already said that blessed are those who are not offended in him. Offended. And so he goes to verse number 22 and here he is making a submission in the word of the Lord. He said, he that received the seed among the thorns is he that hears the word of God and the curse of this world the deceitfulness of riches it chokes the world the curse we are sitting down here we are sitting in the house we are sitting in the house yeah my pastor was telling us that somebody was asking we are sitting down here 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 but whether you are one man or you are full or hungry, you are definitely still going to face the judgment seat of Christ. And that is a shocking thing about the whole thing. Yeah, Whether you are rich or poor, elite or an illiterate, whether you are educated or not, whether you are happy or sad, whether you are black or white, whether you are an African or American, God will judge you. <laughs> God will judge you. 
Get ready for that. The Bible said in Hebrews 9.27, it is appointed unto man once to die, and after death there shall be judgment. John chapter 5 verse number 22, he says the father will not judge anybody. He has relinquished the judgment unto the son. In the 23rd verse, he said, he said that all men shall honor the son, including all religions must honor the son, even as they honor the father. He that honored the son, Jesus, honored not, uh, not he that honored not the son, honored not the father, Father, which has sent the son. And so clearly he has pointed who your judge is. What should I will tell you for? You may be seated. I'm taking a bit of time with my introduction. Hallelujah. Oh my God. <laughs> and so Gideon, when he he resurrected in Matthew chapter 28 verse number 19 he made a submission to the disciples they are not here so now that mandate belongs to us he has given us a mandate and he said go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit and the bible said teaching them teaching them all things teaching them to observe all things whatsoever i have commanded you and lo i am with you even unto the end of the world so the mandate of the church is very very profound now i see something very clear in philippians chapter 3 and from verse number 10 where the bible said that i may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto his death but when he goes to verse number 11 he said that if by any means i might at in the resurrection of the dead and so he develops further and says uh, in here he said not as though i have already attained either were already perfect but i follow after and it was the same predominant word that jesus used for matthew when he saw him in his vocation and said to matthew follow me it is the same word he used for Peter and his brothers, James and John. You know, the, Zebed, the sons of Zebedee, he looked at them. And then here, clearly, he said, he said to the guys, he said, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Follow me. So that word is extremely important. In Matthew chapter number 16, verse number 24, Jesus said, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me that is a revelation so you are not just coming to church you are a follower of christ you are a disciple of christ maybe let me use a contemporary word you are a student of christ you follow jesus christ maybe a, a, a clearer word will be an apprentice maybe, maybe you will understand that better yeah, the word apprentice. Yeah, yeah. You are an apprentice. You are learning a vocation. And you know during learning a vocation, like doctors, like how they pump for hairdressers, masons, electricals, and all that. You know, the first call of learning is observation. You stand and observe. Sit down, just observe. It's just observation. And he uses that same word in, uh, in Matthew chapter number 28 verse number, I think in the, in the 20th verse, he, he said, teaching them to observe. Stand and observe. If anybody wants to learn how to preach very well, don't start preaching. Sit down and observe. Sit down and learn the art. Sit down. We just learn the art. Who person who said he acquired Bonten Senka, he will be our yard Bonten Senka netting us in the radio. Sit, watch what they are doing. Look at people with successful marriages. I'm not talking about that fake thing. I babe thing. No. I'm not talking about that. Everybody knows they are faking it. That's not what I'm talking about. If you really want to see people with a very successful marriage, their chemistry and all that, everything is real and everything is pure. And if they say, I love you, they mean it and it's real. Sit down and look at them. Watch them. Observe them. That's why Jesus can say that That's why he can say that There is a way to follow Christ Sit down, observe Clearly Doctors will never, surgeons will never pick up The surgery knife and cut Until they have observed for over one year Because cutting and you 
Ukuta seka in the Quran what gauge centimeters, any dilation, any millimeters, and all that. Why ya manako kwano? It will babe dawa un nimbe be a millimeter no wa won ha it to cha when nim say see lines on ja. Why we ya jin and cha beka se or far se kind one with the chai. And this is why some people went for um, uh, body sculpting and uh, this uh, uh, butt enhancement, hip enhancement, and all that. Nagbe na amekboi umu. Yeah, because because the people who also want to think that the, whether it is LLB or LB, whatever the name is, you know, the, the guys feel that money is in this area. And so we all need to go into that area. You don't do that. Have you been there when they using all these metals to choke the human body to, to provoke fat and remove fat from certain parts of the body and play it in other parts and even when you are placing it you need that artistic mind to be able to know that the the butt of a woman goes in that curve even in the curves there there are you know a, a, a protracted dimension and yes we are yeah and to me here he be with your mind say hey hey and the end here so he's saying this in verse number 11 of uh, Philippians chapter 3. He is making, you know, uh, the submission of the word of the Lord very clear. He said, by means that I might attain unto the resurrection. He goes to the 12 verse and say that, not as though I have already attained either, uh, uh, we're already perfect, but I follow after. Turn this into a different version. Let me deduce a point. Possibly, you know, I keep striving to win the prize for which Christ has already won for to himself. And in another version, look at this. He says this here, he said, not as I have already attained this goal by or, or being Christ-like or have already been made perfect, but I actively press on so that I may take hold of that perfection which Christ took hold of me and made me his own. I, 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 I am actively present. Actively. Not passively. Actively present. In another version, look at this interestingly. He said, he said in that particular, he said, I am, I, I am well on my way reaching out for Christ. In the last version I will read, this one says, he, he, he said, I, but I press on to take hold of that. Go back to King James Version where he said, he said, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which I am also apprehended of Christ Jesus. Then in verse 13, he said, this brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth for those things which are before me. He said, I press toward the mark of the price of the high calling. Ah, he mentioned a strange word here. I press toward the, oh, it's going to be good in a minute, relax. I press toward the mark of the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Your calling is not just a coin chain, you know, any haphazard, any, you know, lackadaisical kind of calling. Your calling is a high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. And that calling comes upon a person. After resurrection, the person has sent or assimilates into a high calling and leaves the high calling. That high calling is a way of life. That's why I say that Christianity is not a religion. Christianity is a mindset. Christianity is a culture. It's a way of life. It's a way of thinking. It's, it's a way of doing things. Christianity is not, as a religion, we practice religion. You know, we are not here practicing religion. If Christ be, if a person be in Christ, he's a new creation. All things passes away and everything becomes new. Christ in you, the hope of glory. That all these revelation teaches something. That Christ in you is the light of the world. The way, the bridge, you know. Go, go, he is the resurrection and life. The living bread. He is the water of life. The spring of life. Once he lives in you, how this lives in you. And so then it is a calling of a, a high, it's a, a, it's, it's, a, it's a high calling that is in Christ. It's not just, you know, can you just imagine whilst you are seated here and then you receive a letter from the Jubilee House, the president of Ghana said, I have appointed you to be my personal assistant. 
That is a high calling. This is why when anybody becomes president, they use the word that he has ascended to, to the high, high office. High office of presidency. And he tells the Bible and stands before the nation and before heaven, before God and his holy angel and hold the scepter of, of authority and say that I pledge through faith and allegiance that I would defend, protect the constitution of the Republic of Ghana, that I would do right to all manner of persons, that should I subvert what I have already taken an oath or vowed, I will submit myself and suffer the penalty thereof. This is the presidential oath. This is the presidential. You have been, you, you, and so the moment Nana Dankwa Ekufuado, His Excellency, is called into that high office, he ceases to be an ordinary person. Ceases to be an ordinary person. What that means is that if you had a Charlie, hey, Adudi, where they go on, you can't do that anymore because he now holds a very high office. If even the first lady that would be for come up for that, you can't then say that to your husband anymore because, especially in public, because now the president holds a very high office. He stands in the place that the armed forces sees him as their commander in chief. The police service sees him as their boss. The immigration, the customs, the parliament of Ghana sees him as their as their partner. The legislature see he has been into a high office it is no joke once you are called the christian that word is the anointed one and it is a word or a compliment or a name or an office portfolio that is used for christ and so the moment we call you christian we have named you after christ it is no more an ordinary calling you have been called into a high calling that is in christ you are no more ordinary I am no more ordinary. So then I am no more an ordinary person. That is why when you pray, you don't pray in the name of Kofi or in your own name. You come with the, with that authority of a high calling and say, in the name of Jesus Christ, let every knee bow, every tongue confess that Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. Every every office has a uniform every office the police service has a uniform your rank gives you you know the, a, a, a different some wear black some will go further and wear brown at the point some will wear suit some have sorts of honor with them the ranks and the medals and all that depending on who you are interestingly ladies and gentlemen i come to a realization listen to this carefully every every profession a nurse has a uniform a doctor has a doctor's coat a soldier wears a uniform you know a pilot wears a uniform i think that is the, the the most you know beautiful uniform i feel apart from the preacher's uniform you know when you look at the pilots i like the way that the flight attendants they line up the pilots behind them and the flight attendants two 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 and they are dragging their their baggage you know after them look at nice shoes and nice calves and hats and beautiful stuff and all that they are uniform i identifies them let me talk about the preacher's uniform when you look at the uniform like a, a catholic priest or a methodist priest a presbyterian priest and all that they have different uniform i thank god for somebody like bishop asantienchi amazing man very intellectual astute and anointed was able to define the uniform of the methodist church when sia obiamuako comes here he has different uniform uniform for weddings uniform for dedications uniform for you know uh building the education uniform for preaching uniform for communion and the eucharist the uniforms for uh, uh funeral uh, uh, uh officiating and all stuff like that but i like it when they put on some of the uniforms amazing uniform and they have their regalia their belts in gold ornaments and beautiful crafted and all that their uniform identifies them in Christ Jesus they also must have a uniform and that uniform is the uniform of righteousness peace and joy in the Holy Ghost that uniform derived from Galatians chapter 5 verse number 22 is love and peace is uniform this is the uniform you are wearing right now yeah peace and joy and long-suffering and uh, gentleness and goodness 
kindness and faith and he goes in meekness and temperance against such is no law our uniform is Ephesians chapter number 6 verse number 12 downwards you know where we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities powers against the rulers of darkness of, of this world and against the spiritual wickedness of high places so high places is going to meet high calling wherefore take on the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand the evil day having done all this stand. and then he said uh, stand there for having your loins get about with truth you having the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace in the 16th verse above all taking the shield of faith wherein you will be able to quench the fairy darts of the wicked and then in the 17th verse he said and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God you are dressing yourself as a born again believer who has the power in the resurrected blood of the lamb of God you are not an ordinary person somebody like you should never speak a very vile word to your husband as a Christian woman you should not you know in this because of the high calling which is in Christ Jesus I'm telling you well, the reason why will be their president now you know after their term of office we feel they have performed abysmally we remove them from office by the power of the thumb through voting is because we were expecting something and they were not able to deliver and therefore they have fallen short of that high office which we gave them and so anybody that is seated here Christ has given you salvation redemption regeneration adoption giving you the spirit of life and grace and giving you all this ability including all spiritual things which are in Christ Jesus and all things that pertains to life and godliness he has given you and now you are like a blaster player he is watching you on the field and sitting by heavenly television or screens and watching you you can't fail you cannot fail you can't fail you cannot fail don't pass it no. oh yeah how I call it yeah. When uh, let me use his, uh, his majesty was here to do the second, you know, when he was called to become um, um, the Asantehene, even though he is a royal and he knows the custom and rights of the Ashanti people, he had to be trained to ascend that throne. Asakura Womosano, and yet just Asakeke, a beer beer, it will mean it. when when Sorian will hunt you so in Genesis chapter 14 verse number 14 the Bible said there were 300 314 I think 318 men born and trained in the house of Abraham Abraham was not a lazy cocoon sitting you know hallelujah hallelujah no training the moment we hallelujah rise everything I say no 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 oh uh, yeah 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 uh -huh. Proper planning, excellence, administrating, budgeting, staffing, you know, and yet when we say somebody is a Christian, it's not a joke. It's not this is your training center. It is when you go, you attend a church where we are selling um, in kuto and uh, soaps and, and all these nonsense, you know, the that, that instance you are already joking with your future because the time when you should be training you are playing the time when you need to be training you are playing let me tell you all these guys who have made a name they didn't make a name by hallelujah i'm telling you steve jobs didn't make a name with hallelujah bill gates didn't make a name with hallelujah I was watching the founder of Rolex, Hans. Hans didn't make the name with Hallelujah. The Rolex is so, so rich now that even Hans, the founder, didn't know that the company was going to be rich as now. The most expensive Rolex sold $3.5 million. It's just a watch. Bruh, somebody decides to attach all excellence to it. It's not Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. 40 years in a crowd, you don't have a house. Something is wrong. Praise him. Hallelujah, Messiah. This is the first child can name. No, serious. I'm talking to I'm talking to candidates of heaven. God, earthly relevant and significant. They are the salt of the earth, the light of the world. These days, you marry a Christian woman, and as if you have just married a liability. Because I'm a bachelor, they have no training. All the training they have is big boobs and big baths. They are following the world, watching the world. Instead of looking up to Christ, the author and the finisher of our faith. He is not a joker. Excellence, leadership, putting things in order, structure, systems. Christianity is not religion. Sing Trim 3, 4, 9. No! Christianity! And you are the Bobra. Christ in you! And you are the Bobra. You are the Bobra. This is why anybody with training and understanding will never allow a man to sleep with you before marriage. Who didn't it? You didn't it? I was at the wedding of my niece on Friday evening at the Polo Bypass. Whilst I was there, and then I met because my niece is uh, just finished university and just got got him married. And uh, I, I I I saw a lot of young people in there and all stuff like that. And then I I didn't joke with them because most of them I knew that Omongwa oh, sorry. And it's my niece's wedding that have brought them together. So to me that is crusade and not a wedding. And so I get an opportunity to preach the gospel. I started by telling them mumu bebre amuba ha entadi amoshe kura kire me se wun ni ntete ye i started by me mfa wun ni agro me ka de be pemu awo fendo na fe wo de wadwen ama me na de wo ho na matete we die ni we die ni we die ni ru bi a chene de tia shut up dear ya wo bi a shaba me nis ni we de ni tumu na agro and then I see that this is a generation of no training. The Bible said, and when David appeared before Samuel and the brothers of David, he was rowdy, he was smart, he was beautiful, he was articulate. God did not just choose a person. He has embedded and decked the person with all that it entails. By the time David appeared, he was all round, versatile. His versatile, he sent and brought him. And when he came in, turn this into a different version. Let me work with it. He said here, you know, he was handsome, healthy young man. His eyes were, his eyes sparkled. It was not just Jerry, 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 Nipa. It will be now. God didn't just choose Jerry Nipa. He looked at the man. He was handsome. And so even God, he is looking at features. Yeah. Some me me worry the demand. Some me 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 say we yeah me me papa me predict we yeah me me pa me did you did me chia a tear nim a tear nim. What do you ask here? It did the yeah me ask some man me want now who of it? Cause any son can't go near one teso. What did you mean to me? Tear. He was handsome. The back there are things that are here. You know it. Pains my heart that this nation have been to places. Turn this in a different version, possibly the message version of the Bible. I look at this clearly, and he said, and Jesse said, and he brought him in uh, the very picture of health, bright eyed, good looking. God said, up on your feet, anoint him. Was anoint him. NLT, look at this. Interestingly, he said he was dark and handsome. He was dark. He was black and handsome. Pray. on your wedding day, baby's house, and I will see it. It will shock you. And the Lord said, this is the one anoint him. Oh my God. Look at the amplified version of the Bible. He, he said, and, and now he had a ruddy complexion with beautiful eyes, handsome appearance. Ah, 
when you make crowd with peace when you make crowd with peace you know excellence and all that and i may call you may be a crew and i may share you know i was some near maybe i know because i'm not saying yeah we'll be named chris where are you you don't know christ Ma <laughs> Mambi peni muti se wa sabri wa babo sodi mpai bota wa mechi ye juma Eyo nana habi jina gingi 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 Ejade papa God is looking for even excellence Excellence Sixty seven years And I'm driving I'm looking at Anya On an asphalt Kabranti because it's sunny and what the big quemu, no the blocks, no the air ramp on the asphalt. Where is excellence? Had you ever, any ever, had you ever time, any ever time? That's where we are. I said, "Nishi, you cry, you move now, you fi kang 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 kang." And I'm telling you, you don't believe it, but I'm telling. Ghana is Accra is one of the stinking cities in the world, if not the most stinking city. In the world, you don't know, but I'm telling you. What na ha na unko baby? I would just say no ma, enye no ma, enye no ma, ejare. And you see, even God, He was wrapped. I mean, He was looking for a picture. It's a high calling. What do you mean He didn't turn you down? thing. You can do that. You are a Christian. You are a child of God. You are an ambassador of the kingdom of Jesus Christ. I finish myself, and then I won't be watching. I'm fine. She will see me as. Try that. Nature chef, you just take away part. Nature will zoom here for three months. Why don't you do that? Why do you throw it outside? And look back. You know things that we could do. That level of excellence. Shaba in school at the full BSc hall, and we call it a school. And teachers dress up and go there. You look at a government hospital. You will cry. And people dress up, put on their doctor's coat and nurse's uniform, and go there. I was asking my father's uh, son, who is a doctor, and I said, Doc, uh, uh, how is Ghana? Because he trained in Ukraine and worked in other places in America and all that. So he came down, I was asking, how is the job? I mean, oh, so the job is good. I, said, I mean, what well, the infrastructure, the environment, and so on. And then he was telling me, it makes you depressed. The young man have just re returned from training, and he feels like the environment where he's working makes him depressed. There are many things that are going to obstruct your heaven crop. Are going to be an obstacle big time. And as I finish my presentation, I'm telling you things that has to go with excellence. The Bible said in Daniel was found an excellent spirit. In Daniel chapter 6, the Bible said was found an excellent, but an excellent spirit was in Daniel. God is not a hazard. This is why when those people were bringing those kind of teaching, you know, up so called heaven, uh, um, you know, in yare and spring perfume and all that kind of thing, I realized that that is the devil at work straight because God is an excellent spirit. Everything that goes with excellence, that is God. I'm telling you, that is God. Drive here from here to Amasama and check the road. Baby, are you requiring that? You read from here through Taifa to Ofanko. You share Kwanho. You read Fufu Robes in Kekaho. A phenomena, and we have a whole ministry for sanitation. So, what is the job of that minister? I'm, I'm asking, what is the job of the minister of uh, you know sanitation? We have a ministry of environmental, and then we have another one for sanitation. Look at the way you feel that minister should be in office. Your pastor, honorable, should look in your eye and tell you to resign immediately. And that ministry must be closed down. You have lost time.
charged with reality. There is a high calling that is in Christ Jesus. We cannot perform abysmal. We are representing a kingdom and a name and we cannot fail. We can't fail our God. Once you are seated here, you are going to get up out and go and you are going to prove to the world that this thing is not just a religious routine and tradition you come and do every Sunday, but you have come to receive training. Training for a high calling that is in Christ Jesus. So we are going to heaven, but if Christ does not return tomorrow morning, we will pay our bills and live our life. And when we are living that life, I'm talking about people that are living in a high calling and Christian maturity is their portion and so their marriage is excellent their home is excellent their finances is excellent they don't talk to their wives anyhow they don't cheat on their wives I'm talking to the cheaters for our supreme yeah when you will be an exist and the mouth what I know one also open on what I know I don't know what I know I don't know people before for there are men seated here who feel like you know me you know what you mean to me in it now it was a minute will be not me and when they go and go into all this now abrabono and then they come blaming the devil and the witches in their family and then they come and tell god why are you taking too long to heal me ladies and gentlemen i came to present the gospel of christ which is not only spiritual but also influential yeah it is not only spiritual it's also influential and what says there is a group of people in Israel by the name Kibbutz. The Kibbutz are the one of the most trusted people in the world. They don't lie. They don't fidget. They don't involve in fraudulent activities. They work, they make money, and they watch over themselves. And they invest into a lot of things and their investment have taken them far. The kibbutz are just, you know, trusted to the point that if you are even employing a kibbutz, you don't receive a CV. The name they have created for themselves works for them. Are you sure that you can walk to the bank and ask them to give you a loan without any papers? But there are trusted people in this country who can pick up the phone and say, I have sent somebody to the bank. Can you give the person one million CDs? I will come back and reimburse and uh, I regularize it. And the bank manager will say yes. Trust. But as I have polished their face and they are sitting. Ladies and gentlemen, it's sad. I told I am a junior say Chris who know who who here now so a man for so a man nipa be brave. I'm telling. Serious. That now you marry a Christian man, and you need to be watching over his phone. Who is he talking to? Who is he chatting with? And we have now had have wives who can hire people to hack their husband's phones. There's no trust. There's no transparency. But, but then look at the number of pornographies on our phone. Something is wrong because you don't understand your calling. When I say calling, I'm not talking about a preacher. First Corinthians chapter 1, the Bible said we are called. First Corinthians chapter 1, verse 1 downwards. Look at this. As I close, I said, look at it. The Bible said, Paul called to be an apostle. Paul is called to be an apostle. And then in verse number two, watch this. He said, unto the church of God, which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Christ, called to be saints. So one is called to be an apostle, and others are called to be saints. Someone is called to be. When you are me, I you are And what friend wants to say, who are you, my? Who are you, my? Who are you, my? Who are you, my? Who are you, and not everybody can stand outside and preach. That is a message on its own. Yeah. Some people have become Christians for 10 years. They have never won a soul for Christ. 
so winning is not part of your agenda, then why are you a Christian? Because God is not Santa Claus or Father Christmas who is dishing out things. God is a father and an investor. And if you are his child, sweetie, listen to this very carefully. If you are a child of God, then there are so much that you need to understand. And by understanding, you need to go through training. Don't make wrong decisions and choices. One, one wrong marriage can make you curse God. Only one wrong marriage. I received a message from a pastor this dawn. A man that is getting ready to go and preach this morning is telling me, he said, my house is on fire. He said, Papa, I am, I am, I am suffering. He said, intervene quick because I have lost concentration and I'm losing my anointing. One wrong marriage. Only one. And I'm telling you, don't rush. Not everything that glitters is gold. Sometimes the right person, you don't like the person. You know, I said this on Love Talk, and it is the truth. The women now, 80% of the women in church and in the world now, they don't want honest men. God-fearing, prayerful, soul winners, Bible-believing, tongue-talking. They are nice men. They don't like them. 80% including some Christians, they want men who are liars, cheaters, beaters. They are people who are molesters, who bring you into molestation, marginalizers. People like that. Playboys, that is who we want. It is, if the person is not cheating on Charlie, the guy is not hot. The pedio cheated. No problem. They would carry you to training. Go to the Ghana police service the depot and go and see training. They train you. The word of God is a very, very powerful tool. And that tool leads to other tools like money, like time. These are all tools. Like property, material stuff, it's tools. And it's also a weapon. In the answer, we'll be real police service, you know. Now you are in a background check. So, we need criminal ties. We need all that. We need any criminal convictions. And, son, you are general. You are general. Depending on baby, you are in a question. No, you will be training. No, you train you. Said you pay your nadia, said you hurry war, said you bassum, said you put in the parrot, will be Jimmy, said you bet him a stamp on one time, and say, Woman, I'll be free in the trip. You did two be show one, sir, and son, you did two be show being son. It was a walk, comma, gravity. Gravity. And you're a me boat to know what you two of you know. It's half for no, you did two show one, sir. Recent, I think in Kumasi or this week, a police officer have been arrested. Mistakenly, he shot somebody to death. Yeah, the person of police service, no more code of ethics. You have to take a show because it is a two no, it is a ska, a bow and some more. Now, what did you have to do? Why, yeah, will be driving no things a while. What could you do? No, it is a sign of sika, will be with Kaka. What put them when Jimmy, when they are getting it, when them some in the boss. No, 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 no me chi me kono mu di doko no mu wo sika pa wo tre ba e fo yi ba na ni we eh jimi bra jimi bra jimi ta we sia jimi wo bi ai jimi wo sika tre ba e tre no bi ai jimi e sa folks it could do wrong person say mo we debate deal so we train them. We train them. We train them. Sometimes the police are trained that in a demonstration and crowd control, sometimes you should just calm the person. Why didn't you? Why do you think that Captain Muhammad didn't use that pistol? Training. 
Then Trabois said, For me, shoot him to when he be Pianza. Captain Mahama had a pistol that was 14 rounds ammunition. He didn't use it. And these boys were misbehaving. Me, I'm not a crumb for, I'm not a crumb for, no be the blogger we need to. Because the training was not to harm people, especially innocent people. His training, it does not allow him to, and, and you know, the people who have deep training, they can, they can, just like the so police officers at George Floyd's death. When the people were Black Lives Matter demonstration, police officers knelt down. Many of them, at least 50, they knelt down before demonstrators and said, we beg you, go home. They have guns. Everybody has to. We are begging you, go home. Don't you think, sir? Tree, tree. Don't you think that if you had some patience, just a little bit, just a little bit, we need pay away your man for new be a comitias here, but just a little patience, you will see a different man. Just a little patience. Impatience have robbed us of nice people. Nice people are like gold. BNY would two skakoko as he has a nation, which was glittering. Anybody who would pick up gold from the belly of the earth, it is just like stones or debt. We process it. So I'm talking to the people with a high calling in Christ Jesus. One of the people who have distinguished themselves all this 67 years. Is my mother, Dr. Christy Doterton. She is going to be celebrating her birthday in four days time. And look at Mama Christy, the young girl. The amazing, you know, phenomenal young girl. Four days time. Make her the MC 68. Mommy is going to be 68 instead of 67. Look at, you know, so we're going to be celebrating Mama Christy Dotete at 68 on the 11th April and it's going to be a very special time. Happy birthday in advance, Mom. We love you, we, we treasure you, and we appreciate you. This woman is a Christian. If you go, we, oh, 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 Training. 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 If when a person is trained, one of the things they do easily is respect you, is to love you, is to honor you. If they are owing you money, they will pay without arguing. Are they? No, go and pay your debt. Yeah. I was here when somebody came and said to me, Prophet Drew, I love you. I respect you so much. I listen to your preaching. Your preaching has shaped my life. Somebody came to my filling station with this car from Alabaster International Ministry. At the moment I saw Alabaster, I said, Prophet Drew, instantly I gave him full a full tank. It's been four months now. And the person have left church. But the prophet to draw me alabaster integrity. Ah, we bought cement the other day and we bought 600 bars of cement. And we didn't buy the cement with money. I just picked up the phone and I made a couple of phone call. I called one of my nice mothers and I said, Mom, can you arrange for 600 bags to the side and all that? She didn't ask for money. Before the cement got to the site, the money was in the account. Don't yet the dim pan a bobra and say would be and say would be high calling who are making up would be your name. The Bible said, Wherefore God has given him a name. A name. 
E di ene ni kap ni pa kava ho. E di. E di. Ubi a ji di se. Wanon wane ma wa wan yu. Fi di fi wun ti e. E di. This week we are starting a 10 day fast and prayer. Forest and Pai Bokesia. And we are receiving Prophet Akonai Masia. Did it and myself. We call it a radisha Ten days from from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday is not part. Sunday is not part. Monday we begin. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It makes it all up. Ten days, including the days that which are not part. I'm inviting you and your family anywhere you are. Grace will abound in Jesus' name. Stand to your feet. Let us close. Stand to your feet. The Bible said in Proverbs chapter 22, verse number 1, it says something in the word of the Lord. And when you look at this particular scripture and observe it, it said a good name. It's rather to be preferred or chosen than great riches. A good name. A good name. A good name. The two hands are lifted. Let us pray. Father, I bring your people before your throne. Any word that will come out of their mouth, honor it. Now, can I ask you to talk to God before we pray for the nation? And uh, ask for his mercies and his blessing. I am going to ask you to commit your life into the hands of the Lord. Go ahead and do that. Commit your life into the hands of the Lord. Commit your life into the hands of the Lord. Ah, this week where we will be going, what we will be doing. You are a blesser. You favor it, your people. You bring your people to the place of elevation. Father, in the name of Jesus, be merciful. Be gracious. This morning is renewal. Paul prayed that God takes out the torn in his flesh. But the Lord told him that my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in all your weaknesses. We stand before the same God asking for the same grace. And he will align us to his will and purpose. Before we go home, rededicate your life to Christ. Ask him to strengthen and empower you. To love the things that God loves. To hate the things that he hates. And above all to be a missionary Christian. And a soul winner. That is our mission as a church. We are not winning souls. We have missed it. If church is only dressing nicely. Coming into the house. And uh, enjoying nice sermons. I think we have missed it. Training. Training. You are here training. To be trained how to pray, how to fast, how to preach, how to teach, how to heal the sick, cast out devils, how to love, how to lead, how to be a married woman, how to raise your children in a Christian home. It's training how to live in eternal life. It's training how to manifest signs and wonders. Authority and anointing. It's training. Hallelujah. I want us to pray for this country. We want to pray for the president of Ghana. We want to ask the mercies of God for our economy. I'm praying that God will help us 
honestly speaking, this nation at the moment lack direction. Honestly speaking. Now, if I ask you carefully, if I if the vice president or the president of Ghana came to church this morning and I asked your excellency, can you tell us where where we are heading as a nation? I think just like the you know regional minister of uh, the Ashanti region was asked, tell us about 10 projects. He fumbled and struggled. Let me tell you, we need direct, forget about your petty party stuff. We need direction as a nation. People write BEC, WASI, and look at standards, please. You go school, no, it was a, it was competition. We wanted to score, not just to pass an exam. I want to be a scholar. Not But Not you and poor. No. Take him to the university. He will go and blow it there. We need direction as a nation. And this is not to victimize anybody. I'm just telling you that we are going in the wrong direction. And we are not going in the wrong direction just with this government. We've been going in the wrong direction for a long time. Wrong direction. And the church is afraid to say it. Because the moment you make statements like this, you become an, an enemy of the government and a target of the state. But for how long? For, for how long? Look at the way, you know, businesses are collapsing on the road that is being constructed here in Insawa. We don't think about the people whose businesses and livelihoods are there. Wrong direction. Why? Where is, where is wisdom? Why? They can stay on the road for three hours and all that. Why? Wrong direction. When there is a leader in charge, you will be a bit in a lame. I was driving yesterday and sadly I saw two police officers sitting by a, a motorbike. When the traffic like the traffic came up green, we all started going. And then we saw another motorbike coming in our direction, which nobody should be using that direction. Sadly, the two police officers couldn't be bothered. They drove off. And this one rode in a wrong direction. Will be shying. Road. Lawlessness. Indiscipline. So, why should he bother? A right hand is on your heart. Save our nation. Play the national anthem. please stretch your hands on this wonderful colors and pray for this nation we are asking for god's mercy heal our land heal our leaders and heal the people of ghana father we pray in the precious name of jesus the christ go ahead go ahead 
I pray for his excellency, my president. I pray for the people of Ghana. I pray for the economy of Ghana. I pray for Ghana's currency. I pray for the spiritual climatology of Ghana. Jesus, have mercy on this country. Save us and we will be saved. In a precious name, break the yokes, remove the hurdles, and help us. In Jesus' precious name. Father, I honor you for your grace. I begin to pray for Ghana, thanking you for how far you have brought us and how further you can take us. I want to thank you for our president, his team, the people of Ghana. We are in the middle of crisis right now. Dollar is rising. We are on our way to 14 cities to a dollar. Petrol will increase this week. After it increased last week because prices are still going up and the dollar exchange is still hitting us. But God, I pray not because of those of us who are in Accra. People living in rural places and life is not easy for. I pray that you will, for their sake, heal our land. Heal the ordinary Ghanaian and his livelihood. This morning I pray for health, wealth and prosperity. I pray for people in the hospitals, in the prisons, in the cells. I make intercession. Touch your people. Use us to help vulnerable, less privileged and less fortunate people in the name of Jesus. Use us to put smiles on the faces of people. Make us the salt of the earth. I pray that you will make us touch lives and make differences in the lives of people. I bless you. A prayer answering God, a miracle worker. Everybody standing here, trusting and believing you for things to turn around in any situation of their lives. Come through for them. In Jesus' precious name, miraculously. I bless you. A faithful God. In Jesus' precious name. You can clap your hands. You don't know Christ as Savior. I can't close up without giving you an opportunity. Your right hand is on your heart. Somebody say, dear Jesus, have mercy on a sinner like me. I receive Christ as my Lord and my Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord bless you. I pray for everyone who prayed that prayer. May his grace lead you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Guys, you want to join us for our offerings, those of you watching on television and on online, you can uh, see all the details on the screen. You're listening by radio 059-229-6667. That's 059-229-6667. You can join us for our offerings. The next service starts at 9 o'clock and it runs to 11. The Lord bless you. I love you. I'll catch you. Fellowship with us in any of our branches. And see you on Wednesday at Forest and Bible. Because if Friday is an all night, you can join us and the grace of God will be your portion. From all of us here in Kwabnambonsam Memorial Temple, when righteousness becomes a lifestyle, the breakthroughs becomes automatic. Remain blessed. Stay blessed. Stay blessed. You can make a redemption of time wisely and prudentially. This is not a time anybody can be joking. It's a very precarious and perilous time. Therefore, the preachers of this generation cannot go to sleep. Because 
the moment we start sleeping, the enemies, the enemy will be sowing tears among us. As I'm speaking to you right now, he will gather the nations together. The goats and the sheep, even nations, are going to be celebified, segmented. Here, go there. You come here. It's coming. That means that when the word of the Lord is preached, the people that receive the word ought to repent. There must be a transformation of the word. Which nation among the world has more prophets than this one? Ask me which other nation also in the world are more cruel and wicked on this continent than this one. There are people sitting here with deals. Serious deals. You can talk about fraudulent criminal deals. Tourism beside are sitting in church, polished with makeup. How will the prophets of Ghana stand before the Son of Man? and answer to him we sold red blue oil soap low stickers and handbands that was what we were doing bring Christ back bring Jesus back to his church we have become like Laodicea who have hijacked the church Laodicea the church that can't speak truth you tell truth to people they will leave church I will tell you truth for you to leave I will tell you truth for you to know. Make me preach in the crime where you are, sir. What pebble beer? You best to some bayish. Your pebble beer best to say, Shamani, so. Or pebble beer best to some in Sanom, so. They are looking for places for compromise. That is Babylon. Babylonish is a compromise. Compromise. That you don't see. When Kofi Uru is standing here, you can't see his heart. You can't see his motives. You can't see his conscience. But that is what God will be judging. He calls it deeds and works. Yeah, your motives, your what drives you to do what you do. Yeah. Your temperament, your attitude, your character. He is calling you to a place of repentance. To break away all the addictions. Away from your life. Creating as a clean heart. Renew a right spirit. Cast us not from your presence. Take not your spirit from us. Restore unto us the joy of your salvation. Renew a right spirit. has come for judgment to begin in the house of God because the house of God have been turned into the den of thieves. The house of God have been turned into a, a pivot of exploitation, deception, manipulation, seduction. The house of God have been a place of ridicule. The house of God have been turned into playing grounds for charlatans to come and display their words. The house of God has turned into the place where we showcase and exhibit flesh and carnality. The house of God now has become the place where the people go to hear nonsense and madness. The house of God now has turned into the place where the people go to chase girls and go and snatch husbands and go and snatch people's wives. The house of God has now turned into all kinds of madness where